Hihi magandang araw mga idol Matapos ang laban ni Manny Pacquiao kontra kay El Terrible ng Mexico na si Eric Morales sa naging ikalawang sagupaan nila taong 2006 at 21 ng Enero ay hinarap naman ng ating pambansang kamao ang noy kinakatakutan at knockout artist ng Mexico na si Oscar Larios Sa labang ito mga idol ay maraming mga kababayan natin noon ang hindi pa masyadong naniniwala sa kakayahan ng ating pambato sapagat isa din ito sa maituturing pinakamahirap na laban ng ating pambansang kamao dahil sa mga panahong ito ay kasagsagan pa ng kalakasan ng karera ng Mexicanong si Oscar Larios Dumayo pa ito sa ating bansa upang makarap lamang si Pacman dahil sa mga panahon ding ito ay naging matunog na ang pangalan ng ating pambato sa bansang Amerika Samantala, bago ang kanilang laban ay galing sa talo itong si Oscar Larios. Tinalo ito ng kanyang kababayan na si Israel Vasquez sa pamamagitan ng TKO sa round 3. Naging WBC World Super Bantami Champion noong 2002 hanggang 2005 at pitong beses niya itong nadepensahan. Naging former WBC Interim World Super Bantami Champion sa taon ding 2002. May kartada itong 56 na panalo, 4 na talo, isang draw at 30 dito ay tinapos by a knockout Habang si Pacquiao naman ay may kartadang 41 panalo, 3 talo, 2 tabla at 32 dito ay galing sa pamagitan ng knockout Nakataya sa laban ang WBC International Super Featherweight title na hawak ng ating pambato na nakuha naman niya mula sa isa ring Mexicano na si Hector Velasquez na tinalo niya by a 6 round technical knockout pero bago yan kung ngayon ka lang napadpad sa aking channel ay pakilike naman ang video ito mag subscribe at iklik mo na rin ang notification bell bilang pagsuporta dito sa ating channel salamat ang laban ay naganap sa Araneta Coliseum Barangay Cubao Quezon City tara mga idol at panoorin natin ang kanilang naging mainit na bakbakan And that is, of course, in the third fight. With the, you can be sure his heart is in his mouth, hoping nothing happens to Manny like the first time. Side so that Pacquiao could not send him into an attack. Well, this Pacquiao with an attack, and he's not able to rip it. In reality, he doesn't. Body shots exchanged by both guys. Manny has, but there's only 54 seconds to go. Here's Manny gets him a couple. Trying to move to his left, which is good, so he gets away from the power shot of the left-handed fighter, although back in now, so let's see if that comes into play during this fight, but Larios has to go to pick up away. One punch from Manny can change the course of this momentarily. And you see Larios is there, pick up the right hand, and now he's testing his movements and getting his positioning. Larios looked almost awkward, reaching with his right-hand power shot there. Larios, Manny in front of him now, moving the hands up and down, looking right hand. Manny faints away, spins to his right, and takes a punch around the ground. And Lario stood up and took one shot that Pacquiao nailed him. They want to stop in front of him. Nice side-to-side -side movement by Lario, in this case, for the southpaw fighter. And he gets him inside, blast to the body and back upstairs. Lario gambled from the outside to try and score with his right hand. And that's why he got nailed. See the legs start to go, and they did start to go. He's not out, and now the wide stance as he bounces and lands a right hand of his own. Manny must feel that he can do what he wants. And he decides to open up. And he's hitting the uppercut in there with a left hand. He fights with both of them free in his judge. This Larry is trying to pick it up and trying to get back to the back of the field. So Larry is touching him with a left hand. He's on top of him. I don't think he's hurt him, but he got him with a good left hand. He showed up with that left hook, Colonel. Yes, he got a did. chance here. He got hit him with the right hand, and now Manny's just wrong. And here comes Manny on the assault now, and he hasn't landed. There, the left hook, and he showed that he could slug, but he still has to be properly timed as far as taking his chance. And here's a handstand, 
no. His downfall. Manny clipped him with a straight right hand. Nice left hook. Manny, but again, anytime Manny does anything well, the crowd, you know, they love this guy here. Larios has come to fight. Oh, he got hit with a pretty good right hand that time. And another right, right on the chin. Larios' legs are still okay, so he's rage for Pacquiao. Looping right hand catches the... We'll get that ruling from the referee. Oh, he got nailed with a good right hand shot that time. So we have seen... It's the WBC International Super Featherweight Championship. Hilarious, and this is about the hurt business at the professional level, so I gave Manny Pacquiao at this stage. Oh, he cracked him with the right hand. Dave, how about you? Now, in the fourth round, legs under him in the fight. Now it's a question of can he go to another level? Manny is the only one that's really been visibly shaken along. Well, one stage, he did catch Larios. His leg part was. He talked about training in Japan. He went away from his family for six weeks. He. Right hand, right back comes. And uh, the time, Dave. Well, you know he's been ready for one big opportunity rather than working his way in. He's an explosive guy. Has to decide he wants to work for that opening before he will get it. Larios fighting strategically. I think a terrific fight to this point. Manny wants to work for that opening. He's expecting it to just be there, but he has to work. Larios rips a shot to the body and right back comes Manny. Been able to negate a lot of that by moving to his left. With Larios moving to... And keep the jab going. There's a sneaky left hand lead that snapped the head back of Larios. That's a special thing that Pacquiao did. He's done a good move. He's done set a guy up. And he did it again with that straight left hand again. And that's a kind of a tailor-made Pacquiao uh, fight plan. In the meantime, Larios doing a nice job. And he only starts by a little bit short. Up. Araneta Coliseum. Is the attack of Manny Pacquiao. I think they landed, though. Maximize that opportunity. He is moving more now. And now with him moving, he's the game in the movement. a lot with righties and lefties as they're looking for positioning. And part of the job for both the right hand and the left handed fighter when they're fighting the opposite is to get the back foot outside. Then he's so speedy, the right hand. He's didn't go in his head with a Whoa, look at that. He Wild was, shot. He was, he's beginning to split open as you see more blood. And now you notice the lack of power. This man, he uppercuts, left foot. Big left hand bangs and touches to the side of the head. That one on the jaw. Rips another one to the side of the head. Flies him to the body. Now oh, he's softening up after Larry. This is Manny Pacquiao. But look at the way Larios battles. But this is a very dominant round for Manny Pacquiao. As I say that, Larios tries to load up and flash with a big right hand and comes back with a left. Manny comes off the ropes and says, hey, come on, come on. There he goes with that left hand power shot. Tries to catch him with the right. Lands the left hand. It'll be frustrating uh, a bit for Larios. Sa ikapitong round ng kanilang bakbakan ay napabagsak ng ating pambato itong si Oscar Larios nang tamaan ni Pacman ng sulid na kombinasyon at napaluhod ito sa lona. Sadyang matibay lang talaga itong si Larios matapos tamaan ng sunod-sunod na pag-atake ng ating pambato ay nagawa pa nitong lumaban at makipagsabayan. Manny Pacquiao is landing polish right side. The head was down, and now he hangs up. Watch his legs, folks, and that'll tell you where the head and the body is going. Here's Manny, throwing up shots. Big shots. You better answer, or the fight's in danger being stopped. Manny landing several. Round seven with a guy like Pacquiao coming right out of now. As far as I can tell, all right, but they're certainly a lot more loose in the knees than he was a couple of rounds ago. He's firing these shots and now trying to get him caught on the counter. That Manny can come forward, that left shoulder and show a lot of power now with his right hand. There's another right hand shot to try. And the left. And now Larius' legs don't look solid. He has to separate the very well to stand up. His opportunity to land a power shot. Larius still in there now. His legs are since the fourth round. Pacquiao is doing his drop once by an inside shot. Watch your hit. And it was a flash knockdown. And he was able to jump right back up and get a Manny Pacquiao. Nice combination, right hand, then the left hand. And you can see the first head of Larios, but his legs are okay right now. 
That one's right on top of the face of Larios as well. Manny having things his way right now. Don't forget this is a dead even fight after to regroup and Pacquiao is all over him. Well, we know that Larios is successful, but he's made one whale of a fight out of it so far. And he showed up. I mean, that right hand yeah. in round three indicated that he intended to take his best chances in here, and he's still alive. Yeah, he is, and now Manny spins it. And he unleashes the barrage of the goal. He wants to try and finish it now, and Larios is zone for five or six weeks. Came down here to adjust to the divinity in this area. Larios is not as accurate with his punches now because there is a fatigue factor, and most of that is the fault of the power shots. Manning. And you can look to the body and not shot so well, but Pacquiao is zooming in on target practice here. A nice shot again with the left hand. A little bit after noon time here on a Sunday. Because November at the MGM in Las Vegas is with fight with Eric Morales. That's one that Carl redone. That's that Judah. Carlos Baldemir surprised him. Famous for. Great left hand again, and here it comes again. A combination of punches. Yeah, his punch percentage is up a lot in this round. He's getting through and getting a lot of punishment, and nobody dreamed really that it would go beyond three or four or five rounds. We knew that if it got beyond three or four or five, that things might turn in favor. And what we knew was not exactly accurate because it hasn't gone in favor. In fact, Manny has to reach down, and he's done a terrific job on shake out. Larios's conditioning has enabled him to stay here, and it shows the effect of going away, focusing on going to fight, and then bringing your heart. Make no mistake about it, even though Manny's out boxing for the past four or five minutes, he's landing big shots down, but there's no quit in this Larios. You're going to have to knock him down to knock him out to try and win this fight. He can't lose a fight by decision, in my opinion, right now. Now look at that blasting shot. But the question really is, how much longer can Larios take this kind of punishment? And how much longer will Bruce McTavish allow him to take it? As long as he's throwing the shots and he's able to defend himself, it goes on. Look good whatsoever on Oscar Larios. And you wonder how much you can see out of that left eye. But this guy doesn't. Pacquiao spins, moves to the right, fires shots to the vulnerable eye area, and keeps. You can will yourself not to get knocked out. And right now, he is willing himself to stay as much as He's a courageous box at the last minute of this 10th round. Manny would like to finish it if he possibly can. You know, not an urgency like I can't knock this guy out. He waits for the opportunity when he sees the clearing hit. He has got some patience to get lucky because uh, if you do, the guy can catch him. with a pretty good looping right hand right there, but it didn't hurt him at all. But to talk about conditioning, we had questions whether he was in great shape. He can survive three, he can maybe hang in there for 12. And now he comes back getting hit in the same place for a round. The coagulants can kick it in and then you can do a good He still can't mount enough offense against the Pac-Man who now goes downstairs with the right hooks. Pacquiao, when he comes in and he attacks and he jumps around to his right, makes it very tough. But look at Mario, he continues to hang in there. Which we don't want to be labeled as but he's still in He was hurt for that body. He's in that fine line. He wants to go for a knockout. It's got to be a perfect scenario for Pacquiao, and it's getting better now. Now, you could say, you know, I'm giving him credit, but Larios is in better shape at this stage than... I suppose we're into this a little bit by Pacquiao in the Philippines. And he's such a sh** and we've had so much fun with him this week. But in reality, I have fought with a lot of guts. He's fighting well on the road. We're talking about his conditioning and hung in there as long as he could. Closing seconds now, the 11th round, and nobody had to get the little guy from the Philippines. Manny would love to do it in round number 12. He's on the assault. Larios has to say about Manny. Right. Yeah, about how well he'll do uh, down to conditioning has kept him in the fight. For Pacquiao working inside, a little bit of a taller guy. But the legs of Larios are a little bit right. heels low. He tries to get up on his toes, but he's in magnificent shape. Coming into this fight, and he really, really worked hard. And the pace of this fight is another thing. I mean, there's been non-stop action in this fight from the get-go. Tonight, and against somebody with more power, there will be that speculation about, will that hurt him in future fights? And for Lario, look at this, because you can be a beneficiary of low expectations. Pagdating naman sa huling round, ay napabagsak uli ni Pacman ang Mexicano.
ng tamaan uli ng ating pambato ng mga solidong kombinasyon na kumunekta sa mukha ng Mexicano. Nagpatuloy ang kanilang laban hanggang sa natapos ang ikadosing round. Kaya masasabi natin na hindi basta-basta itong laban ni Pacquiao sa knockout artist ng Mexico. Halos yumanig ang loob ng Araneta sa lakas ng hiyawan ng ating mga kababayan dahil sa ganda ng laban. Wagi ang ating pambato bayananimous decision at tagumpay niyang nadepensahan ang kanyang WBC International Super Featherweight title. Sana'y nagustuhan niyo ang video ito at maraming salamat sa patuloy na pagsuporta. So hanggang dito lang tayo mga idol.